Hi guys! To see how I got this makeup look, keep watching! Today I'm going to show you my entire process from beginning to end, how I look younger with makeup. Before you even start with applying makeup, the most important thing is your skincare. I have already washed my face and applied my serums, and I have a really exciting new product that I've been using. This video is sponsored by Clinique, and as always, I test the products, and I will not accept a sponsorship unless I totally believe in the product, and I would truly use it and purchase it with my own money. This is Clinique Smart Clinical MD Duo. This is a new product and it has two different creams. Now, this took me a second to figure out how to get the top off. It has this little tab right here, right on the top, and I was trying to like pull the top off, but here's the little tab right here, and all you do is lift the tab and you can see the two different creams inside. These formulas are made to re-sculpt and re-volumize your face. Kind of if you were going to put um, fillers in your face, you think about the areas that you would want to plump up in your face, and that's where you would use the purple re-volumize. So I'm going to use that one first. So if I was thinking about where would I want to put filler in my face and get rid of the lines and wrinkles, it would be on my forehead. the nasal labial folds, any little wrinkles, smile lines. Also going to put a little bit on these smile lines that I have. So that's where the purple revolumizing cream goes. On the other side it has the white cream. So you want to put this anywhere that you want to lift, like if you were going to get a facelift. And for all of us, this is where I feel our issue starts is in the neck. The jawline is where you want lifted. Any jowls, jawline, anything like that. You use this twice a day before you go to bed and in the morning before you put your makeup on. There is no fragrance, no parabens, and no phthalates in this formula. It actually changes the appearance of your skin, making it look plumper and more firm. I love that it has the two formulas right in the same jar, and it's only $69. You only need a little bit, as you can see, I have barely made a dent in this and I've been using it all week, morning and night. A little bit definitely goes a long way. You can already see that it's giving my face a glow but it's not looking greasy and my skin just looks and feels tighter. If you guys are interested in trying this product, I will link down below in the description box where you can find your local Clinique counter. Thank you again to Clinique for sponsoring this video, and now let's get into the makeup. A lot of you have also been asking me to do a full face routine from scratch. I've been starting out my videos with already having my foundation on, and I just feel like it's so repetitive, and I didn't want to start out every one of my makeup videos the same exact way. So let me know if you guys want me to or don't want me to. I just need to kind of take a vote. Maybe I'll just do it every other video or maybe once a month I will do a full face. I just feel like it's the same thing over and over because I use the same products and do the same exact techniques every single time. So today you will be able to see exactly how I start from scratch. For foundation, I'm going to use my Almay Smart Shade Anti-Aging Skin Matching Makeup. I use medium deep. And with this foundation, I rub it into the tips of my fingers. You're going to apply it and you're gonna see that it's going to look white. Well, the key is you have to apply it with your fingers and you have to create the warmth on your skin to get it to start matching your skin tone. See, it's changing color. 
and it will match exactly to my skin tone. Then I take off any foundation that got on my eyebrows and I use my e.l.f. highlighter. I use the tan side and I go under my eyes anywhere that there's darkness or anything that you want to bring forward. So I go down the nasal labial folds. You want the center of your face to look bright. So you want to bring the light towards the center of your face. I'm also going to go up here on the sides and just dab that in with my fingers. Then I'm using the Garnier Anti-Dark Circle Roller. These products are my go-to products. They're nice and thin. They don't get stuck in any lines. I'm gonna take a dab of IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, and I'm going to use this for my blemishes. I actually like this better as a concealer for blemishes than under my eyes because I feel that it is too thick for under my eyes, so I like to use it to cover blemishes and it works great as a concealer. It also covers dark spots really nicely. I'm gonna use the Garnier Roller for the scar that I have on my neck and I have some redness on my chest. I'm just going to go over that. For brows, I'm using NYX Micro Brow in the color Espresso. If you think about what your face looked like when you were younger, it was glowy, it was more even, so you want to definitely start with your skin, just evening everything out and not making it dry. Also, when you're younger, your eyebrows are thicker, your eyelashes are thicker, your, your lips are plumper, so that is what we are focusing on today, is to get those youthful features back and to just focus on your natural beauty that you already have, just enhancing that. It's a personal decision how much color you want to add in, but definitely by adding color to your face is going to give you that more youthful, awake appearance. Then I like to take a disposable spoolie and I spray it with hairspray to set my brows. This makes them look more natural and keeps them in place. Another really quick way to make yourself look younger and to open up, brighten your face is an eyelash curler. This will immediately lift your eyes. Look at the difference. Just a little old eyelash curler wakes up your eyes and lifts them. Hello eyelashes. Just taking the foundation off of my lips. I'm using Physicians Formula Airbrushing Talc Free Bronzer. This is great to kind of sculpt your face and give you some color. You can go under your nose if you want to get that lifted look on your nose. Then under your chin, you keep that darker to lift your jawline. Go right across your jaw 
and it creates a shadow to make your jaw look more defined and lifted. I'm using Revlon Colorstay Translucent Powder and it comes with this little pad and I use this to sculpt out where I put the bronzer. A little bit near my mouth, just so it's not coming down too far, too close to your mouth. And I don't bake, I don't like a lot of powder on my face, so I just wipe that off with a clean brush, just so it's nice and blended. I'm gonna tap that between my eyes, brighten that up. Next is highlighter. I have been loving this Moonlight Pearls highlight, and I do this right on the top of my cheekbone and then just go up a little bit, just right there. You don't wanna get this under your eye. You wanna go just below that, on the upper part of your cheekbone. Just gives such a youthful glow. I love highlighter. Can also put it on the Cupid's bow. Another area would be the tip of your nose. Just for that nice youthful glow. You can also put some glow on your chest. Now you just look healthy and glowy. I'm gonna use this Alter Ego Goddess palette and you can see I've been using the heck out of it. I am going to go in with these brown colors. You wanna stay on the outer corner and then blend that in. Then I'm just bringing that same color under my eye. These brown shades are very natural, so that just kind of pulls the whole look together. You don't wanna get darkness down below your eyes so I wouldn't put a really dark color under my eyes. You wanna keep all of the darkness above your eyes. Touching up again with the Garnier Roller. This is so nice, you can layer it. You don't need any powder to set it. And you can touch up throughout the day. I'm gonna use the same e.l.f. highlighter and I'm going to put that in the corner of my eye where the darkness is so it wakes my eyes up. And then I'm just going a little bit into the lid, but just keeping it in the corner. I hear a lot of people say, oh, you can't, don't you shimmer over 40. Well, I'll be 51 this year and I love me some shimmer. Now, if you're not an eyeliner wearer, you can just stop here, but I am going to put a line just on the upper lid. This is Kat Von D Ultra Ink Liner. So you want it to be thinner in the corner and get thicker on the outer corner. For mascara, I'm using Voluminous Million Lashes in Blackest Black, and I'm going to thicken that up with the Lash Paradise. You can also use just a pencil liner or an eyeshadow on your upper lash line. The whole point is to get the top part of your eyes darker and lift everything up and keep it brighter underneath. I'm going to add a dab of this darker brown to the outer corner. All right, now I'm gonna blend that out and I'm gonna go back in with my Garnier Roller and just clean up the outer corner. Then I'm gonna use the translucent powder just to set that and blend that out. For lips, I'm using Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the color Seductress. I love this color. It will completely stay on until I take it off. 
If you want to overline, you're going to overline just the top and the bottom. You don't want to overline your whole entire lip. Then set everything with setting spray. So that's it. Just remember, you're just trying to get your skin to look smoother and glowy and to make those features prominent that were standing out when you were younger, like the eyebrows, your eyes and eyelashes, your lips and glowy skin. And you can go with as much or as little color as you want, but the basics are still the same. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!